What's up guys, welcome to your 29th Android app development tutorial. This tutorial is a continuation of the previous tutorial and I'm going to show you the codes of custom toast in Android, right? So let's jump to our Eclipse. Now here in Eclipse I have created a project custom toast. I'm having a main activity and the activity main.xml. Now in our activity main.xml I'm having a button show custom toast at the center and I'm having an on click attribute on the click of this button show custom toast method in the main activity.java will be executed right so this is a button click handler now let's follow the step by step procedures first I have to create an XML layout for our custom toast so just go to your layout right click on it new and XML file now select the linear layout Let's write custom underscore layout, hit finish. Here what we are going to do is to go to the coding part and check whether this orientation is vertical or not, right? If it is vertical, leave it as it is. If it is horizontal, then change it to vertical. Now we need an image for our image view. So, so I'm just copying this martyr logo, copy and paste it inside the drawable HDPI folder. Now these are the extension guys HDPI, LDPI, MDPI. As of now in general I am using this HDPI. I will talk about in detail what this HDPI, LDPI and all this stuff stand for. As of now just use this drawable dash HDPI. I am having this smarter logo right and make sure the name of the PNG file that you are pasting here is all in small caps right. Just drag and drop what images and media image view. Now it will ask for the image that you want to add. So just click your logo name smarter underscore logo select it click OK it will be right in front of you. Now drag and drop a text view I am selecting this large text below the smarter just double click on this text view change the text let's say smarter smarter rocks. Now here in the image view you can see the source at the redrawable slash smarter underscore logo. So at the redrawable is indicating the address where the smarter underscore logo is stored right now. In the first step itself we have to assign the ID to our linear layout which is our root layout right. So just assign an ID, write ID control space, again control space add the root plus ID, write root underscore layout, give it an ID it should be unique. Now our first step is complete. Now let's see our graphical layout. Now do one thing just set the gravity layout gravity as center because I want my text view to appear at the center right now don't worry about this attribute again guys I will talk about it later in detail now our background is quite party boring so let's go to our Photoshop select a color let's select our color like light sky blue now here is our hash key value it is a six digit value just copy it and go to our eclipse inside the linear layout type background now just give the hash and paste that value right here. Now see our background color has changed. You can check out all these colors if you want. You can get this yellow color also or if you want red you can get the red red value also. It is a six digit hash value. Now our second step is to inflate the layout using the layout inflator. So inside our button click handler we just have to write what? Layout inflator give it a variable name anything you want get layout inflator right now after that inflator dot inflate select the first one resource r dot layout dot what custom layout now the root is the root id you have to write find view by id control space r dot id dot root layout right now assign this statement to what view space appearance equal to inflator dot inflate right now now it is showing an error because we have not typecasted our id so we have to typecast to it what view group right now we are good to go for our third step to create a toast and assign it to the layout of the custom toast as we saw in the previous tutorial just type toast new toast context you can write you can select this also get application context or you can write what main activity dot this this is another way now toast dot set duration set gravity gravity dot you can write center bottom top up to your wish I am selecting the center 
x and y value right now finally we have to link this toast message with our inflator or view group right now how to link that just you have to write set toast dot set view here you can see the set view right now select this appearance right now this appearance is nothing but our this appearance right so make sure this variable and this variable is same now finally to see the toast in action just type toast dot show right now run your application now our app is successfully running now let's check out by clicking on this custom toast button right oops there is some error now let's check out what's the error now whenever there is an error guys just open your lock cat and check out where is the error right now our error starts from here it is showing could not find a method custom toast view right now guys I have done a mistake here if you can see show custom toast I have left out the parameter so just type view v right now again we are good to go just save it and run your application again yeah our app is again running and hopefully this time there is no error now let's check out yes successfully we are getting the output smart herd smart herd rocks right now again click on it awesome smart herd rocks so this was all about the custom tools guys this is shrieks from smart herd signing off and thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and do leave a comment below my video. Thank you. Support us in a way you can.